Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are the different uh, metrics used to evaluate the performance of uh, linear regression with a simple solved example. To understand the different metrics, uh, I will consider this example. In this example, we have been given uh, five items uh, sales data and uh, there are two fresh uh, items were considered that is I6 and I7 whose actual values are 80 and 75 and the predicted values are 75 and 85. The linear regression model has predicted these values. Now we need to evaluate the performance of this particular regression model using the different uh, metrics. The first one is mean absolute error. Second one is uh, mean squared error. The third one is root mean squared error. Fourth one is relative mean squared error. And the fifth one is coefficient of variation in this case. Now we will try to start with the mean absolute error. The formula for calculating the mean absolute error looks something like this. MAE is equal to 1 by n. Summation of i is equal to n minus 1. Cardinality of yi minus yi cap here. This n is nothing but the number of uh, test examples. In this case, we have uh, two test examples. The meaning of this one is the n is equal to 2 over here. Now we need to take the summation of uh, i is equal to n minus 1 uh, for all test examples here. yi is the actual output and yi cap is the predicted output in this case. Once you put the values in this formula, the equation looks something like this. mae is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by cardinality of 80 minus 75 that is actual output minus predicted output over here plus 75 minus 85 that is nothing but the actual output again and the predicted output over here. So once you solve this part I think you will get 15 by 2 that is equal to 7.5 over here. So the mean absolute error is 7.5 in this case. The second matrix for evaluating the performance of linear regression is a mean squared error. The mean squared error formula looks something like this. 1 by n summation of i is equal to n minus 1 yi minus yi cap bracket square over here. Again yi is the actual output, yi cap is the predicted output, n is the number of testing examples. In this case absolute is not required because we are taking square here. Once you take the square this will become always positive over here. Now we need to put the values over here. Once you put the values in this particular equation you will get uh, 1 by 2 80 minus 75 bracket square plus 75 minus 85 bracket square and once you solve this one it will become 125 because 80 minus 75 is 5, 5 square is 25 plus 75 minus 85 is uh, minus 10, minus 10 bracket square is equal to 100 so 100 plus 25 is equal to 125 divided by 2 which is equal to 62.5 over here. So the mean squared error is equal to 62.5 over here. The third uh, metric is root mean squared error. Mean squared error we have already calculated. So once you take the square root of it, we will get the root mean squared error, which is equal to 7.91 in this case. Coming back to the fourth uh, matrix, that is a relative mean squared error. The relative mean squared error is calculated with respect to training examples. And the formula looks something like this. i is equal to 0 to n minus 1, yi minus yi cap bracket square. This is the actual output and this is the predicted output divided by i is equal to 0 till n minus 1 yi minus yi bar bracket square. So again this yi is the uh, actual output and this yi bar is nothing but the mean of training examples over here. So we need to calculate the mean of this particular training examples and then we need to put that particular value in this particular place over here. So whatever we are calculating that is a mean squared error it is relative to training examples over here. It, till here we have not considered the training examples to find the different metrics over here. Now the mean of this particular training examples is 80 plus 90 plus 100 plus 110 plus 120 divided by 5 which is equal to 500 divided by 5 which is equal to 100 over here. So once you calculate this particular mean we need to put all the values in this particular equation. Uh, the numerator that is actual output is 80 minus 75 bracket square plus 75 minus 85 bracket square that is nothing but the um, numerator over here divided by this actual output is again 80 minus this particular mean that is 100 80 minus 100 bracket square plus 75 minus 100 bracket square which is equal to 125 divided by 1025 which is equal to 0 0.1219 
this is the relative mean squared error over here. So, the error is calculated with respect to the training examples in this case. The final uh, matrix for evaluating the performance of re linear regression is coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is equal to root mean squared error divided by the average of uh, training examples here. Root mean squared error is nothing but square root of uh, mean squared error. We have already calculated this divided by the average we have already calculated in the previous slide that is equal to 100 in this case. So, once you solve it, you will get uh, CV that is coefficient of variation is equal to 0 0.08 in this case. So, these are the different uh, metrics. So, what we use for evaluating the performance of uh, linear regression. So, in this video, I have discussed what are the different metrics are there to evaluate the performance of uh, linear regression. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.